Hello everyone, welcome to my live stream. Today I'm going to be working on this Druji character again. He has the last character I have to do for this commission that I got for 10 of these Druji characters. And he might even be the most complicated character because unlike the last three that I did live, or at least I recorded, uh, I was not able to get the flat color down in one session. So that just shows how complicated he is. Um, so today I'll probably finish the flat color and if there's time I'll start working on shading as well. So I'm using Photoshop for this. Um, I tend to like Manga Studio for shading, but since I've used for coloring and shading, uh, but since I've used Photoshop for the characters uh, from the beginning of this product uh, project, I think that it's best to just continue using the same programs. I'm also using Lazy Nesme Pro. It helps smooth my lines so that there's just problems that Photoshop has with coloring and drawing because it wasn't really designed for that. It's called Photoshop, not Drawing Shop. So the Lazy Nesme Pro fixes all of those problems. So I always have that turned on. So where we left off before, let's see, I've got, I'm on the robe player right now. But we got this red accents finished. So the next thing to go to, I think, is we could do, we could either do the cloak next or we could do all these little gems that are all over his outfit. <clears throat> all over his armor, actually. He's got the similar things on the swords. So I don't know if maybe those should all be the same, or if the armor should be different from the swords. Think about it for a second. It would probably tie everything together if they were all the same on the swords and on the armor. So, yeah, I think I will move on to the cloak next. So I need to make a new layer. And title it Cloak. And in the character description, I believe the cloak was... Let's see. Trying to find where it mentions the cloak maybe it's lower. Oh yeah, long crimson cloak trails down to the ground. So there is a mention of crimson earlier, and but it's dark crimson. So what I need to do is choose a color in between. So this is the dark crimson. This is the red, this armor. Uh what is the word? I want to call it outlining. No, that's not. Trim. The trim on the armor is actually red. That was the word used. So I need to pick something in between. Maybe that. I'll color it in and step back and see how it looks. Oh, I'm on eraser. No, no, no. Uh oh. Oh, it's not working. Something's not working right. It's not. I think I have to restart my Photoshop. All right, turn off the lazy Nesme. Close this. I guess I'll save. I got a little bit done. 
Dang, I hate it when it does that. I think it's because I had Photoshop on all night. I forgot to turn it off. Let's close it. You can see my all night wallpaper. <laughs> that's closing down. I'm going to give it a few seconds to close completely in the background. Maybe that's been long enough. Let's try opening it again. Okay, please work this time. Open recent. Varen Blackthorn. And open Lazy Nesme. Photoshop plugin loaded, so that means it's ready to go. Let's get this on nice and big, taking up all the space. Okay, hopefully that fixed it. Every time I try to do a stroke using my stylus, it would just do a dot. Oh, it's still not working. Well, I don't know. I guess I'll just use the mouse. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why it's not working. Well, that's sort of annoying, but I can at least get something done. It'll just fill in the color. I wonder if I need to restart my whole PC. I don't want to do that. Because I'm streaming! This takes so much longer with a mouse. Oh, that's filled in. Well, I guess I'll do the outline and fill method. That's definitely going to be better. Ah! Well, that's not for it. <laughs> I don't know what the heck my uh, buttons on the side of the tablet are working. I just used a, a preset to hit undo. What the heck? What the heck, tablet? Why? Why are you no like me today? Whoa! I haven't used a mouse to draw in a long time. It sucks. <laughs> tablet is so much better. Down. kind of like using artists colored pencils and then all you have that day is Crayola <laughs> the stark difference eh? that's weird that's weird how that oh no I thought it like filled it in without doing this but you just can't see it because I was so zoomed out there now you can see it better Well, this is probably going to be a short stream because I'm definitely not going to last. Drawing like this with a mouse is really physically taxing. Come on. Oh, I don't need to be 200. Zoomed in to 200, that's too much. It's like you have to use your forearm muscle and your wrist muscles to move the mouse when, if you're using a stylus on a tablet you can use your shoulder muscles and your triceps and your biceps to move your whole arm and it's you can work for a much longer time because those are much bigger muscles <clears throat> and they can work in conjunction with one another to save strength for each other but right now my forearm muscle is just like already like ah uh, it's like yelling at me Oh, it's flying all over the place. Why 
wonder why my tablet is misbehaving today. Well, it's just the stylus part. That's the extra weird thing. Restarting Photoshop didn't work, so I think the only thing that will help it is restarting my PC. There is a way to fill in more cleanly if you do solid lines, solid, completely connected lines, you can just choose the Smart Select tool, or I think they call it Magic Wand tool. And you just select the inside of the lines, but that doesn't work for me because I like to do my lines the way I do them when I ink with a real pen as opposed to a digital pen and that means the lines don't always meet and sometimes they're so thin that Photoshop will not recognize them and it will select outside of the line because the pixels are so transparent and there's some other issues too like you can't just select, you have to enlarge the selection after you've done it, expand the selection, and if your lines are not even of an even thickness the whole way through, then it will sometimes go outside of where you want it to go, so then you have to do cleanup work anyway. <clears throat> So if you don't expand the selection, then there's going to be a little white line, the, just like these white lines that I'm filling in right here. There's going to be white lines all next to your inked lines for the same reason, because the pixels are, unless you use like a, unless you only color with an ink with the pencil tool, which uses solid pixels only. It doesn't use translucent pixels to give a smooth edge. It only has really hard, jagged edges. If you can hear a bunch of jingling, that's Kiki and Kiba chasing each other. It's like sometimes when they do this, I'm like, oh, are they friends? But then sometimes they get into such bad fights, I just don't think that they're playing in a friendly way. It's mostly Kiba being crazy right now, just running around randomly. Jeez, this is so much faster if I can use my tablet. I wonder why it's not working. Yeah, I'm gonna have to come in here later after I reboot. Clean this up because this is just, this is ridiculous. I wonder if you can hear Kiba's crazy meows right now. <laughs> he does this in the middle of the day and then he also does it in the middle of the night. Like, uh, I wish he'd get it all out in the day. And not run around, run around like a little demon at night. <clears throat> oh wait, I don't want to go that far in. Oh, my buttons on my tablet still working. The only thing not working is the stylus. Last, I wonder why it's not working.
Well, I've got that side done. This side. Anything up there? No, oh, cut that. Oh, I went way too far down. Okay, come on. Fill in this triangle shaped area. sometimes wonder too if the reason why I have random problems like this for my tablet is just because it's so old. It's a really it's a top of the line piece of equipment but it is super old. It's like 10 years old. 10 years plus. So maybe it's just having a hard time because of that. I think I got the cloak filled in. I need some serious cleaning up. I wish that this would work. Okay, I'm just going to test something. I'm going to turn off the laziness and see if that makes a difference. I doubt it, but... <gasps> oh, he's working! <gasps> Maybe laziness and is having a problem. Eh, let me try the paintbrush again. <gasps> it's working! Uh-oh. Wait, what? Oh, no. There's still something weird, so you guys can't tell, but I flipped my stylus around to the eraser end. And yet it's not erasing. It's doing the the paintbrush on that side. It's not supposed to do that. So there still is something weird with it. There's still something... What the heck? I've never had this problem before. I don't know what is going on with this. Okay, I'm going to turn on Lazy Nismi again and see. Doing some experimenting. Okay. If it still works. Nope. It is. What the heck? So Lazy Nismi is causing a problem, but if I just turn Oh yeah, if I turn it off, although I erase too much. Okay, let me test though, if I turn it off. Okay, that's with the front end, there's with the back end. Yep, the back end still mess up. What the heck? I am so confused. At least I can work like this though. Dang. Yeah, see that white circle? That's normally not there. My, when I right click, my settings don't usually do that, so that's another indication that there's just something wrong. Well, at least I can work like this. I just have to not have lazy Nezumi turned on, and I'm still definitely going to need to restart my PC later after the stream. I'm 
happened to us? Stuff like that happens. I don't do very much on my computer. I stream these art sessions. I go to a few websites on my Firefox browser, check my email, and I use like text documents and stuff and that's about it. I don't really I don't do anything crazy on here. Oh, I missed some spots. There's definitely something weird. But I have had weird... I haven't had this exact problem before that I remember, but I have had weird things similar to this happen where just... It's suddenly not working at all like it's supposed to and there's all these weird things that pop up that are not normally there and whatnot. And restarting my computer always fixes it. Now there's a little missing spot right here in the armor black, so I'm going to fix that real quick. Those little spots bother me because, oops, I'm on the eraser still. Because, even though like nobody else can see them, especially once it's zoomed out, I can see them, and dang, I forgot that the back end doesn't work. Yeah, it bothers me. It makes me feel better when it's all nice and filled in. There's no missing pixels. Well, this still isn't as easy. Oh, look at that. What the heck? I totally forgot to erase this right here. Going on to the armor layer, the black armor layer, I, I totally missed cleaning this area up. And it looks like this red is missing, it has a little chink. Ah, no! Brush. Armor red. Oh, this is so much harder than usual. Because a bunch of stuff isn't working properly. Okay, onto the armor, and then I have to make sure to actually select... To actually select the... Eraser. Wow, just completely missed this spot. I'm glad I caught it. Cloak layer. Now, back to cleaning up the cloak layer. This is just crazy. This is a crazy art session today. At least it's now working to the point where I can work at my normal speed. So I want to get this guy done this week, so I gotta stay on top of it. Aww. Dang it. I wonder... Yeah, that's another thing that's not working. The pressure sensitivity is not working right now, either. There's just a ton of stuff that's not working right right now. My tablet. So weird. Noticing little areas where the armor red is poking out. It's going over its lines. Okay, eraser. Ah, no, I'm on the wrong layer. Cloak layer. There we go. I probably will never not do that. I will never not occasionally 
start working on the wrong layer because I've been doing digital art since high school and I still I still do that and I'm 30 I'm 31 I was gonna say 32 I'm not 32 yet it's not my birthday until next month but I've already said I was 32 earlier it was like last year or something someone asked me how old I was and I just said 32 I don't know why it don't know why it popped out. I don't have a problem with my age, like uh, like a lot of other people. But I, well, what I'm having a problem with is remembering how old I am. <laughs> Maybe it's because I don't really. I guess I just don't really care how old I am. I kind of like getting. Um, not exactly proud, but sort of proud. The more years I rack up, it really is kind of like leveling up. Like, dang, I, I got this old. I survived this long. And especially considering that I'm in the best physical shape and physical and mental health of my whole life. Ah, no, why, why? That was super weird. Oh, what? No. This thing, tablet thing. I don't know what to do with it. Well, I do, but I don't know what to do without killing my stream. For some reason, it thought I was right-clicking just then, and I totally was not. I've gotten really good at holding the stylus so that I don't accidentally right click. Um, maybe it was because I didn't. Yeah, what the heck? That is not a setting I have turned on. It's because I held for a long time on one spot and it thought that I was right clicking. And it, look at that. How that uh, white circle that... If I actually press the button, it just appears as a whole circle, but if you hold down, it sort of like charges up or whatever. So strange. It's like my tablet is possessed or something. It's not behaving like anything that I've ever set it up to do. Ah, no, I'm still on eraser. Goodness. Filling that little spot is missing. Okay, back on the cloak layer. Back on the eraser tool. I'm not forgetting anything and not missing any spots that need erasing. Wouldn't be surprised if I do though, because this is like super distracting trying to work like this. None of my tools are working the way they're supposed to. It's like going in to do a watercolor painting and you're all ready for that and then someone switched out all your paints for acrylic and it's like, well, you know how to paint, but suddenly you have to totally switch up your technique and you have to remember that you can't do things a certain way. That's how I feel right now with the way my stuff's behaving. Oops. I a little too much because of... No! What the heck? No, no! Copy this going back to this going. Fill it in. Since it's not obeying the pressure sensitivity settings right now, it's a bit harder to not erase too much. I will triumph. I will at least finish this dang cloak. I don't know if I have the patience to work on all those little fine details like for the the sword and those little gems and stuff, but at least I can finish this big basic area of the cloak with my settings like this. My settings are haywire. I don't know why it's behaving like this. It was like possessed by somebody else's settings. But no one else has ever had settings on this PC or any of my PCs. Well, I don't know. Maybe on a past PC. But definitely not on this one.
Almost done with one side. Maybe it would help to get more RAM for my PC. Maybe that's contributing. So I just, I don't know how the processor would have anything to do with this. Or maybe there's just some sort of problem with my hard drive. I'm sure just restarting my computer will fix it though. Whatever is actually causing it, I'm sure restarting will resolve the problem. Because it doesn't really matter that Lazy Nesemi isn't working, since the stylus isn't really working right anyway. If it's not going to obey pressure sensitivity, it doesn't really matter all the nice stuff that Lazy Nesemi can do. Because this, what it does that I find most helpful is smoothing out strokes that have varied line weight but it's not working I can't make a stroke with varied line weight right now so it doesn't really matter whether I'm using it or not At least I got it to work in the most basic way because doing all of what I'm doing right now using a mouse, oh no I don't want to. <laughs> mouse is what I first started with of course when I first learned how to do self-taught how to do digital drawing and such, but I also first started coloring using Crayola colored pencils, so once you go to the nice stuff, you never want to go back. That's the same for any art supply that I've found. Anything that in the past seemed like, ah, it's fine, it's good enough, it works great, I really like the picture I made with it, or whatever. But then I use a high quality version of that medium or what have you tool, and I never want to use anything else. And it's the same thing for like makeup, for cooking supplies. I guess it's like anything that has to do with art, like culinary arts or makeup arts or anything. Once I try the nice stuff, I understand why it's so expensive and it's so desirable because it's good, because it works well, it's easy to use, it's not, it doesn't require so much finagling. Alright, 
here we go, going up this side, climbing up. Yeah, these little tips right here are super hard to deal with. Ugh. Oh, <laughs> this is so annoying. They are super hard to deal with when it's not respecting my brush size settings, my pressure settings. Because I can't get in there without completely resizing the brush. And that, as you just saw, is really a pain to do right now because sometimes it's not allowing me to slide the slider over to get the smaller brush size. And as I've explained before, you really need to use the slider in Photoshop and not those little preset sizes because if you choose those preset sizes, it reverts back to all the presets, not just the size, and it will make the spacing large, which sucks because then all of your lines are sort of bumpy. And I don't know what they were thinking when they put that as a feature, because I don't know why anyone would want their lines to come out bumpy rather than smooth. So yeah, this is really tough right now. <laughs> this is tough to deal with. Because if I have to use this smaller brush now, because it's such a pain to resize it back and forth, but it's also a pain because it takes a lot more physical effort to get this to... Oh, no. cover the same amount of area. I think I want that to come out though. Go ahead and right there. No, I'm not trying to do that. Oh, I don't know what to do with this thing. I keep saying that, but I do. I do know what to do. I just can't do it yet. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna use the mouse to right click. Over. This one face right there. And now, fill in. Oh, bloody hell. No. Fill in with this color. There. And no, I'm not hanging out right there. Gosh. Okay, now, erase. Continuing to erase. Okay, gotta use the mouse. This is a trial. Almost done though. Almost done with the cloak. I'm gonna get the outside too. Can't forget that. How's that? I think I got everything there. Ah, but what's this? The armor black layer is poking out right here. There. Fix that. Back on the cloak layer. And I think the only thing left on the cloak layer is up here. Oh, no, I already did it. Yay! Let's see. Let's see how this is going. Definitely not going to be doing any 
shading today. Not with these settings. There's no way it'll work. Filling in is fine right now. Of how everything is all crazy. I'm wondering about the color. So the, the crimson I think actually looks pretty good with the red, but now that dark crimson which I was playing with a lot last time for the robes kind of seems too dark, so I'm going to mess with that a little bit. Or maybe it's too purple. Maybe it needs to be darker. I don't really like it. Like, oh, not that light. Goodness, no. Saturation up. Hmm. Before, after. I guess what's bothering me is this looks more like a burgundy than a than a crimson and this part at his neck just really bugs me because this burgundy makes it look just like he's wearing like a a totally uncool turtleneck. <laughs> it doesn't look very cool. And he's supposed to be like a noble, so he's supposed to be cool. Excuse me. Yikes. Hmm, that's too close in color to the cloak. I think I'm just gonna have to forget about the neck. Because if I make it too close in color to the cloak, then it's it's not gonna stand out from it. Hmm. Crimson. Crimson is red. It's really red. It shouldn't be that dark anyway. Dang it, dang it. Hmm. Yeah, that's like totally, I guess it's not as, like this color looks more brown to me. This color that I had it at before looks more brown than anything. And it also doesn't go well with how there's all this dark stuff up here because it's black. And then suddenly this is really light. I think it should still be pretty dark. just look better if it was more black than anything. <laughs> but that looks brown. Last it's tough. Dark crimson is what it said. It would just be better to make it closer to black than anything else. So I think overall, looking at this as a whole, this looks a lot better. It looks balanced from top to bottom.
Another thing I'm thinking about is this armor right here. So the description says it's supposed to be trimmed in red, so that's why I only did out here. But it feels like it's a loss to not do something with this curved stuff here. But maybe I could just accent it a lot with highlighting. Oh, what to do? I should just do it like that. I don't want it to look brown. I think this is a nicer balance between the three colors. This color. Because this one, that I had it at before, stands out so much and I really don't like it against this bright red color. Just look, ugh, I think it looks ugly. I think this color looks ugly in contrast with this one. But with this changed color, it's a lot better. So then I'm going to go with that. But I'm also going to look at this red part of the armor. Maybe desaturate it a little bit more. Just so that it doesn't. It's still kind of neon looking. And I don't think it should stand out like that on this kind of character. These dark elves, I have the feeling that they are more like, you know, goth type of clothes rather than. Uh, raver type of clothes. And so yeah, I'm going to stick with that little bit of desaturation for that color. Okay, what should I do? Should I continue or should I restart my PC? It hasn't even been, been an hour yet though. I think I'm going to try to go on. So the next thing I should work on, I suppose, are these daggers. Let's see what the description says about them. It just says that they're ceremonial blades. So they should probably stand out. If they're ceremonial, you should probably be able to see them a bit. Let's make a new layer. Call it... Uh, what are you doing, computer? Stop that. Should I start with... Scabbards. Oh, I'm so tired. Still not getting good sleep. I'm just tired all the time now. Well, let's start with this black. But let's move it up a bit to a gray. See how that works. Oh, I'm still on the eraser. Yep, that's still weird.
Oh, right now, I think this looks good with all the colors. This gray. There should probably be a line right here, but it's such a small little area. No one will notice. Or if they do notice, it's not going to be that big of a deal. Okay, let's erase this. Now, I wonder if the handle wraps, if the grip should also be gray. They're ceremonial, but that also doesn't, that doesn't, I forgot the eraser end doesn't work. It doesn't mean they need to stand out super flashy-like. Stop yawning, dang it. Blast it, I went out on the lines. Just trying not to. I don't want to have to erase very much. Since I keep forgetting that the eraser end of my stylus doesn't work right now. Alright, so that's good for the scabbards. Let's do I'll call it dagger metal. Or I'll call it okay. Gosh, I forgot. I thought I forgot the D. Okay. The D and dagger. Okay. I suppose we'll just make it an even lighter gray so that it's sort of like gray, but then the handles are silver. Yeah, well, it's going to be the pommel, the, uh, what's this? I forgot what that's called. But anyway, all this stuff that's metal, I'm going to make it this silver color. Uh, using the tiny little brush socks? But I have to in order to get in that little tiny corner. Why, tablet? Why do you do this to me? Okay. Oh, I almost did it. I almost flipped my stylus around instead of switching. This little keyboard tray keeps hitting my leg and making noise. It's distracting. Okay. Oh, I'm definitely going to need this. In order. Okay, I'm just going to go out and then erase away. Maybe that'll end up being easier. Even though I have to switch manually between tools. I almost did it. My hand started trying to flip the stylus around without even thinking about it. Also, oops, that's right, I'm on eraser. One of these also. I'm considering whether I should do these little circles or or not. Oh, I think I'll do this though.
whether I want those little circles to be metal or if that would sort of I guess I'm thinking I need to make these look elegant because these ceremonial swords are supposed to be a sign of nobility. So breaking it up with the little circles would give them a more utilitarian look, I think. So that's why I'm thinking about it right now in my head, whether I should... I should color those in or just keep them the same color. <clears throat> okay, eraser time. Oh, I didn't get all the way down here. There. Back to the eraser. Oh, yikes. There's this little tiny... This is so tough. It's like learning something new, but there's there's no reason I shouldn't have to be learning something new. No, no, you silly thing. I want to color this in. Man, this is super. Grr. There. Oh, okay. Now let me see and make sure. Those are matching. Oh, hey, this. Huh? Oh, yeah. This is this. Okay. Yeah, I missed something. In we go. Oh, I guess I don't need to. Well, maybe that'll help actually. I'll see if being zoomed into 200 actually helps. 60 But should I do it like a color color, like a colorful color, or should I do just a different sh shade of gray? Should it be light? Should it be dark? So there's nothing about the colors or anything on these. Nothing in the character sheet about what the color should be. something that doesn't compete. I don't want it to compete with all these other colors we've got going on. Totally different thing now. Dagger wraps. Dagger wraps. Maybe I 
shouldn't even make it red. Maybe I should make it something else. Goes good with red. Purple. Grr, nice to see you. Wait, that's okay. I can just go into here. Ha ha. Yay, it's okay. Okay. This side. that look. Zoom out and see. Mm, I don't know. There's like too much red. Too much red in one spot. Let's mess with the color some. Let's just see what other colors. Oh, that might be nice. Uh, no. Uh. Ooh, I forgot that I love that blue with red. That sort of nautical blue. It doesn't really fit with the character though here. Kind of nice as a sort of ivory look. It's different from the gray. Now I wonder if I should even stick with the gray. I'm going to stick with that and let's look at the scabbard color. Such a colorless gray. Let's turn the saturation down a bit though. Don't want it out of control. Just what looks good with all this dang red? He's got so much red. maybe making them a really vibrant red. Maybe that is the solution. I don't know, it makes him look too glowy. Maybe I just need to make... Actually, I kind of like that. There's no reason it has to stand out that much. Let me just 
just having it a little bit lighter than the dark of the armor. Maybe I should just make them really super bright. So hard to decide what to do. Zoom out some more. I'm thinking that's more the solution. Make it darker. So maybe I'll make the metal darker as well. Because I want more than anything this sword that I'm saving for last to stand out. It's almost the same as the background color. That's certainly interesting. Make them super dark. Mm. Mess with these wraps some more. I kind of feel like a blue would actually be nice here to sort of bring a breath of fresh air. Because there's just so much red. It feels like too much. It needs an accent color. Okay, I'm going to stick with that for now. Okay. Now. Sword. Super crazy. What? Oh, yep. It says nothing about the color of the sword. Let's start with the scabbard, called sword scabbard, so that it's different. And for now I'm just going to copy the same color as I'm using here.
going just ever so slightly outside the lines. To be honest, the whole time I've been imagining this sword as uh, the dragon part on the end and this part down here, I've always imagined it as gold. So I'd like to try that and see how it looks. I don't know if it'll look good with all the other colors that have that have precedence because they were actually defined in the character description. But it'd be nice to try it out. And then worst case scenario, I can just go fill it in later, change it. Oh, what the? No, this is a finger. There. <laughs> Colored that in, I didn't need to. Now, um, let's make a layer called Sword Metal. I wonder if this thing, even though I colored it in, maybe I should actually made it, oh, make it a piece of metal as well. Hmm. It's hard to make these color decisions. Okay, I'm gonna try gold. That's what I've always imagined. Always what I've imagined it to be. Start with this. Now, what the heck? Just outline it and fill. Outline and fill. I was always really proud of this part of this drawing. Making the pommel a dragon head. I always thought that was super cool. Okay, clean up time. You know, a bit bigger than that.
No, I wasn't trying to do that. This part I've got, oops, I'm on the eraser. This part I've got this like triangle here. And I'm not sure how I should deal with that as far as the color goes. If I should leave it undone or if I should color a totally different color. I'm not sure. I'll flip my stylus around again. I keep forgetting. It's muscle memory. I just automatically do it. trying to use my brush as if it has pressure sensitivity and I keep remembering that it doesn't grr oh would you look at that I did not erase that good right there Let's zoom out and see you want to think of that I don't think I like that. It looks too much like the the hand armor. I need this to be different. So that the hand can stand out and it's clear that the hand is gripping this sword. I need to have the contrast of colors. Light color against dark color. Even that triangle exposed with how this hand already has so many pointy things it makes the triangle look like it's somehow part of the hand. Let's see? Oh, oh no! Oh no! Grr! That wasn't on the sword metal layer. Okay, here we go again. Color it in again. Well, I'll be more careful this time. No, <laughs> I hate it. I hate not having pressure sensitivity. There, I'll make those gold, but those little teardropped ones, I'm gonna make them jewel color. So close with this one. I almost did it. I almost did not color outside the lines. Do the outline and fill here. A 
Ooh, I made those gold. Oh wait, I don't need to do that. <laughs> I'm so silly. Okay, fill and fill. So I made those dots earlier on the scabbard gold, but would you look here? There's a couple of those dots. I don't know if I should keep those gold on gold. If I should make all these dots jewels after all. I think I like that look for now. I'll probably want to change it later. Okay, clean this area up. This guy is tough with all these layers and many different things that need to stand out. All the different colors of stuff three different reds that were actually described and then there's all this other stuff that I feel should have different colors than just red and black it's really tough to come up with a color scheme that I like where everything works together nicely That's why I actually like to work a little more limited. This guy is so complicated that he needs more. He needs a more complicated color scheme too, I think. Or else all these crazy lines and stuff just get lost into one another. Okay, I'm going to leave that like that for now and I'm going to just go straight into the jewel layer. So if I get all of the colors down, then I can play with them all really start figuring things out. And I think I want to do a blue. I want to make these jewels some sort of blue. Let's start with that. It doesn't matter too much since I'm really likely to be changing it before we're done. Since he's a noble, he's got a ton of these jewels. Ooh, yeah, I really do love this sort of nautical blue. Blast it. I turned the stylus around. I forgot. I like the nautical blue with red. I just think it looks so great. I have to do it again. Come on. Come on. There. Stands out really nicely. Just, just looks so good. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Now erase carefully. Oh, I didn't even get the end right there. Scabbard next. Oh, right, I'm on the eraser still. Huh, this blue looks good with this gold too. Who knows if I'll stick with this blue though? We almost did it. I almost flipped around the stylus. I stopped myself though. Okay, for now I'm going to let these just be gold the same way that these are. If I don't like it when I zoom out, then I'll fix it then.
And who knows, maybe I want to make those circles a different jewel color onto themselves. thought to make this a jewel as well, but I wonder if it should be blue or... I guess I can color it in as blue and then I can change it later. This eye, this dragon eye. No, oh, come on. Yeah, it's so hard to freaking slide that slider right there with the way that my stylus is misbehaving. Where else? I think, uh, oh. Maybe I've got the brush small enough I can just carefully color in. I won't have to switch to the eraser. It doesn't matter since I'm going to have to get the eraser out anyway. Almost done! For some reason, I just started thinking about Star Tours at Disneyland. <laughs> I don't know where it came from. I started thinking of waiting in line, how it's all cool inside the building, like, I mean, it's like literally cool because it's inside, but it's like cool because it's all as if you're at a space station or something. It's fun to wait in line, even waiting in line is part of the experience. I don't know why I started thinking of that, though. I was liking the blue on the red. Now that I zoom out, it's sort of... I think it stands out too much. But I do really like it on these little ceremonial swords. The brighter jewel blue versus the more desaturated blue of the grips.
let's just select only the ones on the armor. Yeah, that's so weird. Look at how it's saying that I'm... So I'm holding down shift right now. But it's like telling me that. <laughs> it never does that. I didn't even know that was a thing it could do. There's something weird with my computer right now. That is super weird. I guess it's cool for you guys. So you can see what I'm pressing on the keyboard. I definitely need my old settings back though. Let's see what could be a different color or... <laughs> it reminds me of Raphael. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I don't know. Blast it, it's tough. It's tough to choose. I guess that orange isn't terrible. Maybe make them amber, like amber stones. It needs to be more orange to do that. Oh, way too yellow. Okay. Keeps looking like peach. Okay, lightness down. Saturation. I don't know though, it kind of takes away from the gold of the dragon. What else could I do? If I just darken it, I don't like them better if they're darker. Hmm. Okay, maybe if I do them, maybe I'll just make them rubies. What the heck? I make them red like everything else and go opposite of what I was thinking. Maybe I will like that better. Ugh. Just make them white, maybe I'll make them diamonds or pearls or something like that. Some sort of white. I think that definitely looks better overall. Deselect. You know what though? The blue definitely is good because he's got those ice blue eyes and blue tinted hair. I'm thinking about this sword. Is it good the way it is? I 
think that the scabbard should be different. I think I want it to be darker. Yeah. It doesn't matter so much if this is darker, because it's barely touching any of the armor color. So it's not really going to get lost in the black armor color. And I think that looks a lot better with the gold. Still not really happy with those gems though. Let's, uh, let's select them again. Lasso tool. And hold down shift so that you can select a bunch of stuff at once. A bunch of separate stuff. Select. Oh, I know. Maybe this will help me. Maybe this will help me see better. Changing the background color to white. I think I do like that because this, even though we're back to blue again, this color blue is now bridging the gap between this more pigmented, intense blue and the really icy, pale blue of his eyes. They still do stand out a lot more than I like, but. After experimenting, I like this look better than anything else I was seeing. And maybe once the shading is added, I'll like it even more. Maybe that's what's missing, is the shading to really make these look like jewels and not just like bright spots, random bright spots all over him. If it looks more like jewels decorating him, I could like it more, I think. I think this is good. I don't think I need a different color here between this part and this part of the end of the scabbard. So I'm going to leave all the gold the way it is. And even these little circles staying gold, I like that too. So let's save. With all the colors figured out, at least for now, maybe tomorrow with fresh eyes I'll want to mess with it some more. I haven't messed with anyone's color nearly as much as this guy, I don't think. But, that's enough for today, I think. And as soon as I finish streaming here, I'm going to restart my PC. Thank you for watching!